Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never clicked on one of my videos before, I'm a seer so I tap into past, present and future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit so whatever comes through, comes through. But I must let you know I'm a twin flame so most of my readings are twin flame related. So you're either a twin flame about to meet your twin flame or you're already in an established twin flame connection heading towards union in the 3D. So I hope you find the answers you're looking for here on my channel. So welcome aboard and if you subscribe, I'm grateful. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. It means so much to me and I'm glad that the messages I'm putting out, you're enjoying them. I'm just I'm just doing what I'm what I feel I'm called to do and if you enjoy it then that is definitely a bonus. I know the messages I put out are for someone and I know that my guides and the archangels will make sure the messages get to those who need them most. So that's all that matters to me. So I'll begin as I always do. I call in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message to the Twin Flame Collective. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protection at all times as I bring forward a message for the Collective. Can I ask that whoever watches this message online, you surround them, their loved ones, their home and pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also as they watch this online. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending my love, my gratitude, always. Thank you for being here. And so it is. Okay, let's clear the energy, then I'll tell you a bit about tonight's message, or what I think it could be. Oops, so shivers. So you may see I've got I've got a lovely um little oh it's just beautiful I'm in love with it it's a little light but it shoots out I've got rose water in it right now and the smell in here is just beautiful it smells of rose I'm using the rose oracle as well um and I've got some new card decks here that are very exciting and even more exciting the card deck I got is to do with my past life readings I do a lot of them. Um, and I got a new sh um, Shamanic Journey deck, which I'll be using. I'll be reading from the book, so if you don't like that, you can always skip it. But it's nicer to make it more authentic. Plus, I'm still learning. Um, there's quite a lot of reading in the book. So um, I won't read the full pattern, but I'll read basically what the cards are about. The, the deck I got is about um, it's ancient, um, ancient uh, sites around the world that are connected to your past lives and what they mean for you in the present. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> sorry, I don't know if that's catching my throat. The smell of the rose now, but um, but yeah. So it's it's a. But what was amazing when I first got the deck today, I did not know what cards would be on it. I just thought that's perfect for my past life messages. So I started to um go through the cards one by one, and then I started shuffling. Now I didn't know what the cards meant by that by that that point because I just look at the cards one by one and kind of welcome them individually. Then I started to shuffle to see what came out and a couple of cards landed on the table and one of the cards that came out was one about Harold Bluetooth and I was totally stunned because I ordered this deck before I did that reading last night. So there's definitely something to do with Harold Bluetooth and the Viking and the Norse gods because um, the, the card that came out today was about um, Odin and um, Harold Bluetooth and stuff so there's definitely something in the air but today I've been getting um, 
weird um, visions of um, the Outlander TV series or books of Jamie and Claire. Now, I haven't watched a lot of that series because I found it, I, I love the love story and I know, the, I know about the love, excuse me, I know about the love story, but I found a lot of the brutality quite hard to, to watch sometimes, especially the sexual assaults and things. So, um, but I was getting kind of, because I do love Jamie and Claire as the characters and that those novels and the love story about them always finding each other and about their, their time traveling and stuff like that. So I kept on seeing Jamie and Claire in my head today. So I'm going to, I don't have a lot of decks here. Let's get started. I'll start with the past life cards and see what wants to come through, see what I connect with first. Then as I say, we'll get some tarot and then I will get, um, I will see what ancient sites are connected that we can maybe connect up with the past life cards and then I'll find out a bit more about your shamanic journey. And if, if it turns out there's love involved, then we'll have a dig in the love oracle cards as well. And I'll use my own deck for um, some messages from your person if that's necessary. But I've also got the Rose Oracle, which is very apt with me having my rose water as well. So can I get, um, can you please give me some past life cards for this energy that's coming through here? This energy of sort of the novels Outlander and anything about, anything else I need to know for this twin flame energy that's coming through. Definitely powerful. I mean, I felt the need to get out the Shaman deck tonight, even though I wasn't fully acquainted with it yet, because there is definitely powerful shamanic energy coming through. Powerful twin flames. Communal living. So this is like, kind of like what I picked up on the Harold Bluetooth and all the Vikings and things. This is, this is somebody who has lived in large tribes or large groups or clans. So the arts card is here. So this could be somebody who's quite skilled um, in music as well. Somebody that could play the guitar. Um, this is a weird thing, but I'm, I'm seeing someone playing a trombone. <laughs> the thing that slides, like, um, that kind of thing. <laughs> My really bad impersonation. But somebody may play wind instruments um, of some kind or brass instruments or, yeah. So, Definitely, I was picking up on powerful shaman energy here and the trees as well. So the medicine man or woman in the trees, that's somebody who is using the earth. Um, so this is like energy healer. So somebody who draws in the energy of the earth and of the trees and of nature to heal. So very powerful kind of um, earth healing energy. Somebody who draws, this, this to me is very like, um, you know, very Indian tribes, because this is what, this to me is like sort of, um, yeah, sort of healer, shaman, that kind of energy coming through. Somebody who draws on energy, but somebody who's very musical as well. Um, anything else for this, this powerful twin flame energy I'm picking up on? Greco-Roman, so galactic, so more starchy energy coming through tonight. There's definitely some powerful shift and they both sprung out together. Okay, wars and battles. So wars and battles could be significant as well. well. We'll find out from the ancient sites. So we have mother and baby in Egypt. So this, those three come out together. So definitely connections to Egypt. Um, now there could be something about a mother and a baby connection from past lives here. Or this can be a baby um, guiding the father back to the mother. There's something about mother and baby. Maybe something to do with Egypt as well. Mother and baby. Or a, a spirit baby trying to get the father to return to the mother or something from past lives. I, I'm not sure what this is. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> can I get a wee bit more? Is there anything else here? So yeah, I'm picking up on like a... Yeah, like some kind of old, old mystic, and I'm getting the kind of, you know, the healer with the kind of feathers in the hair and the kind of, um, that kind of healer energy, but definitely connections to Greco-Roman times, Egypt, Galactic, Somebody who, who has very ancient healing gifts here that are connected to trees and nature. 
lovely. <laughs> it always comes out, yeah. There's definitely a powerful love connection here. Anything else? One more, okay. Authority figures. So this is lovers who have been authority figures. Now they could have been authority figures in Egypt. They could have been authority figures in the Greco-Roman times. They could be authority figures um, in regards to the stars. So they could be powerful star seeds as well. Whatever this is, we will find out. But this person also is very musical. A healer, musical, and something about mother and baby. So that's a good place to start. So definitely Commune 11, that could be to do with clans, as I say, because I was getting the, the Jamie and Claire energy, um, the Outlander stuff. So Commune 11 is definitely, you know, the clans of, of Scotland definitely lived in kind of communal living. Um, you know, they all lived in huge clans and like what wanted to come out. So more Earth Angel energy coming through, but this is... This is two people who have been guided by the angels throughout every lifetime as well. Um, and I just saw night. So this is somebody who, and there's a, this sort of tribal, look, the tribal card and that is what I was picking up on as well. So definitely some sort of um, tribal energy, um, Celtic energy. Now I never get the Celtic card here, but I feel there's some sort of Celtic energy coming through. Mm -hmm. Definitely some to with Jamie and Claire from Outlander. That's the energy I feel. Um, let's get some let's get some tarot on this and see. Let's have a check into the actual modern modern day of what's going on here, and then I'll get some some other cards. So let me see. Can I get some guidance on what's going on right now in the present day for this connection? Somebody getting somebody going through some some sort of death and rebirth right now. Um, somebody is opening up emotionally. Childlike wonder, wish fulfillment, transformation. Somebody is seeing things through the eyes of childlike wonder now. Um, they're finally. They're finally realizing that they can make their dreams a reality. So this is somebody who may have been daydreaming a lot about a person, about a situation, wishing it would come true. <laughs> Nine of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, this person's getting ready to to reveal something or Something about to reveal to this person about their wishes coming true. Or this is somebody who who like to daydream, like to fantasize about their wishes coming true. Let me see. Can I get some details here on this energy? <laughs> wow, so King of Swords. So Libra Gemini Aquarius energy coming through straight off the bat, but very strong Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to, it just means Somebody, I did say somebody, I felt like somebody's going to speak their truth. <sighs> page of, page of pentacles, well, page of coins. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to come in now and this is like somebody saying, let's, let's start fresh. This is how I feel. This is wh what I see in our future together. This is what I think. I feel like this person is ready to ready to go after what they want now uh, what they what they want <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> i do feel kind of go getter king of wands energy knight of wands energy so okay ten of swords so this is someone that's either walking away from a betrayal or this is somebody that's that's returning to the scene of the crime and they now want to move on from the past betrayal here so this could be someone that's coming back saying to their person I know I messed up I know I betrayed your trust I know you have no reason to even give me a second chance but I'm willing to ask for it anyway yeah do you have coins this person is wanting to see if you will 
accept them back, three of coins and the lovers. Yeah, this person is actually hoping that you will give them another chance here to actually work on things. Now, this could be someone who feels like you would make a great team, both as divine counterparts in a couple. Now, as I say, I was feeling powerful twin flame energy even before I started this reading, um, shaman energy. So this could be a couple who are destined to work together here um, in order to make progress both in their own lives, but to help other people. Um, can you tell me a bit more about this King of Swords? Why is this King of Swords? Um, why, is the, why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, this person... As I say, I feel they're in go-getter energy right now. They... So, yeah, Four of Swords. This person has been quiet because they've been regrouping their energy. They've been refocusing their priorities. They've been trying to figure out what's important to them, but they've been kind of silently, and I mean, look, they're meditating and stuff as well. They're really taking time out to go within. Now, this isn't the hermit energy, but I feel... They have been silent because they have been focusing. Now, the Hermit card might come out eventually. But I feel they're kind of um, regrouping. I keep on hearing regrouping. Yeah, Five of Cups. They are... They have been feeling the loss of something here. Now, this could be the loss of you, Feminine, or loss of ever them this watching, or they could actually have been grieving something here. Why the Five of Cups here? It probably is just they're, they're grieving. Right, Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords come out sideways. So there could be in regret for something to do with a Queen of Swords sideways. Now the Queen of Swords sideways is someday now, if it was completely upside down, that to me is an absolute B -atch. Okay, somebody who will go out their way to be cold, calculating and cutting. Um, they will not have a good word to say about anyone. But come out sideways. This tells me someone has the the tendency to be a good person, but they just kind of use manipulation at times to get their own way. And this person has been healing and in some sort of five of cups energy from this queen of swords. Sideways. <laughs> okay. So has this person, was, is this Queen of Swords responsible for something that blocked this? Yeah, Eight of Wands. So this masculine, this masculine is wanting to come forwards now. I feel that he is coming in and go get her energy. He's like, go get her. I'm going to go get her. That's the kind of marriage I'm feeling. So he's coming in here. He's coming in here fast. And the blue bird on this makes me think that Archangel Michael is kind of guiding this masculine all the way. Um, did this Queen of Swords get in the way of a connection here? Did this Queen of Swords get in the way of a some sort of divine connection? Yeah, Ten of Wands. She burdened this masculine. She burdened this masculine. Now, the Queen of Wands came, fell out afterwards, but I don't know if that was meant to come out or not, so I'm going to put it back in and if it comes out again naturally. Um, oh, <laughs> so, yeah, the Magician. So, the, this could have been a feminine who was using, because I have the Seven of the seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords underneath this deck is, is the Evil Eye. Which means somebody had to feel they had to defend themselves spiritually. Um, like if they were being under attack from some sort of magic. And then there's a seven of wands as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so definitely. Now that's somebody again on the defensive because they feel they're under attack. And then the magician card came out. So this Queen of Swords could have definitely been doing something to a masculine here to keep him from going towards his Divine Feminine. Um, has, this, has this masculine um, gotten free of this Queen of Swords, um, Queen of Wands Magician energy here? 
I'll get some signs at the end, but I'm just going to focus on the actual en energy of the read. So this masculine was really struggling to make a decision and look right behind that, the Three of Swords and the Sun. So this, this masculine was stuck trying to make a decision. He wanted to know the Three of Swords in this deck is somebody who's walking away from toxic situations. So this masculine was trying to decide, look, between a toxic, leaving behind a toxic situation and moving towards his happiness, moving towards the sun. So th maybe, maybe this masculine really, maybe this masculine really struggled to make a decision because the Queen of Swords, as I say, sideways is someone who isn't always a biatch, you know, sometimes they can be, yeah, the moon. Yeah, this emperor was under some sort of illusions. Um, something was hidden from this emperor, or there were some sort of illusions cast around this emperor. But it caused some sort of transformation, some sort of terror moment in this masculine's life. Now it could have been something that was like there could have been lies or something. I'll get my own deck in a moment. But this is, yeah. Look, he's now emotional. He's ready to fight for his wish fulfillment. He's ready to fight for this star. Whoever his star is, we will find out. Yeah, he's definitely, look, he's, he's, he's nurturing his inner child. He's seen things through a sort of childlike wonder now. Now, I feel like his feminine has done this. His feminine has shown him how to do this, if that makes sense. So there's a feminine here who has shown this masculine to be playful, to open up to your fun side, to see the lighter side of life, to see the bigger picture and not to be so serious all the time, not to see things black and white, but to see the grey in between. She has told this, she has taught this masculine and now he's in this page of cups, this childlike wonder, but this is someone who wants to come in and be genuine and be open hearted. And when, it, when someone comes in in the page of cups energy, that is someone who is ready to let their emotional walls down and be very vulnerable. So I feel that like this um, masculine is ready to come in and be vulnerable here because we have the full. So he definitely, and we've got the Queen of Cups here. So this is, we've definitely got counterparts out here. So look, the, the full, this is a brand new beginning. This is like rehatching of their love, a, a rehatching, a rebirth of this love connection, um, a rebirth of the, it's like a do-over. So, yeah. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is this masculine's wish fulfillment. And look what's right behind that. Three of Cups. He's moving towards a he's moving towards a Queen of Cups. <clears throat> he's moving towards a Queen of Cups for this celebration. The the female who brings him happiness. Look, he was stuck between a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Cups. And he was torn between walking away from a toxic relationship with this Queen of Swords and moving towards his happiness. But now he's he's ready to fight. He's now ready to fight for this star. See, look, he's now coming in the King of Cups after going through a tower. He's ready to fight for his, where is she, Queen of Cups. Because this Queen of Cups is... Where did that go? Is his star. She is his star. She is his lady love, his destiny. Um, he wants to celebrate with her. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Tell me please, how does this masculine feel about his Queen of Cups? How does this masculine feel about his Queen of Cups? And has he completely walked away from this Queen of Swords? Well, remember I told you I was getting King of Wands energy. I was getting go get her, go get her. That's like it was going go get her, go get her, go get her. This man, and I'm saying man could be woman, but they're ready to come and get their feminine. They're ready to come and get their Queen of Cups. They have went through this transformation. Now the vulture is, the vulture obviously is renowned for circling around dead bodies, but the vulture is actually a very powerful spiritual animal. So if you see vultures in your meditation and your third eye or have dreamed about vultures, that's transformation. 
they are a very powerful symbol of transformation. Two of Cups in the world. This is a brand new cycle in love. So that's the Two of Coins in, in the world. So the Two of Coins in this deck is, because I've already had the Two of Cups. <laughs> this, this, in this deck, this is someone who wants it all with you. And they want a new cycle with you. So the main signs, the main signs I'm getting at the moment, because we've got powerful Capricorn and Sagittarius here. Um, we obviously have Scorpio, we have Aries, we have Leo. So with Sag, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Pisces and Cancer, um, and Aquarius, Aquarius and Gemini. So anything else? Um, now this Martin's going through this death and rebirth energy what what is he coming in here to offer his feminine what what is he coming in here to offer this feminine can you tell me what this masculine is now coming in to offer this feminine now that he's going through so okay that, no they're saying i thought that came out but it was just sitting on top they said no that wasn't to come out okay <laughs> i'll go again let's go down let's go down again okay so the right, so the magician's here again, but the magician this time is this masculine wants to give everything and more. Because this is basically saying he has the tools, him and this feminine have the tools to have it all. But I do believe this masculine now wants to come in and offer the stability, the love, the financial security, everything. Because you know, the magician is all the elements. The magician is obviously, you know. The magician is wands, coins, cups, um, so and swords, obviously. But um, the magician is everything. So this masculine wants to give everything. Um, yeah, knight of coins. He's moving in here um, with some sort of. He's moving in here with some offer, and right behind that is the nine of coins. So this is um, contentment, financial security, stability, um, and then the seven of coins is here as well. So he, yeah, he definitely now wants to invest. He wants to invest in this. He wants to invest in this love for the long haul. Six of cups. So he knows this is a powerful past life connection. Now, this is him saying he knows that you have had many lives together. He knows that. High priestess. Yeah, this high priestess could be an empress because the empress and the high priestess are together in the deck. So this is what the mask is coming in to offer you. Um, a new beginning. He's ready to invest in you. Ready to invest in this love. Um, can I get one more card of, of um, the outcome? Suspected outcome. Possible outcome of this connection. So the high font. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is, this is divine union. This is spiritual marriage. Spiritual union also 3d commitment traditional something something um i mean the higher font is also community so this could be something about you bringing your soul tribes together um or maybe you're both in the same soul tribe i feel this is powerful divine connection not only to each other but to the divine and you know this is this couple are very highly connected here and i just love all the the blues and stuff on this card that's a lot to do with communication, powerful throat chakra. So this this is a couple that's going to get to talk very, very soon about what's been on. But this masculine, I do feel, has walked. I'll, I'll just double check. Can I just double check? this mas Has this masculine walked away from this Queen of Swords to be with this Queen of Cups? Has this masculine completely walked away from this Queen of Swords to be with his Queen of Cups? Well, they're saying the eight of, mo eight of wands again. That's what they answered the question with before. So this masculine is definitely moving away. He's travelling away. Yeah. He's travelling away. Coming forward here with a new beginning towards a high priestess. I mean, that is definitely travelling away. That is like moving away, moving forward. But just let me see. Has he definitely closed out a cycle with this Queen of Swords. Judgment. Yes. He made a judgment call to move towards his happiness after being stuck at a decision. 
where to leave the toxic partner or move towards his happiness and he made that judgment call and there we go again eight of wands <laughs> they're just repeating the message but yeah he he's moving on he's traveling away he's traveling straight towards his happiness his happiness could be a leo who knows but um or they could have leo in their chart but i'll get some signs from mother day because i never bored getting mother deck out yeah let's split the deck and see nine yeah nine of nine of coins so definitely this masculine is now coming in to offer something really substantial and really worthwhile to this feminine who i don't believe he really offered anything substantial to her before because i feel like he was caught up in another situation let me have a feel here i just have to put my hand because i've got a, a box of cards and velvet bags under the table i just have to feel around and hope i feel the right one it's like some sort of um it's like some sort of challenge isn't it to see if i can feel for the right bag um so let's try and get some zodiac signs and then i'm going to get some cards from my shamanic deck and the rose oracle deck and then I'll get some, in fact, I'll get some sacred side cards after this, see what, see what comes out of there. But this is, there's definitely, so we've had a look in the modern, the modern day of things, So, but we know that this is definitely a powerful past life connection. Um, Can I get some zodiac signs that could be prevalent in the charts of the, the twin flames I'm picking up on here, please? Okay, so divine protection and divine timing. So I told you the Hierophant was the last card we got out when I said what was going to be in the future for this couple. This couple are the Hierophant together. They are very powerful. Yeah, I just feel this couple together are the Hierophant. I think they're Hierophant separately, but I think together. I mean, obviously they're one soul and two bodies anyway, but I feel like when they come back together in Union in the 3D, they are going to be the Hierophant. They are going to be precious cargo for the Divine. Because, I mean, to have the Divine protection with Archangel Michael and other Archangels and Divine timing, there's something very important about the timing of this connection and that it comes in when it's supposed to at the right time. Now, that could be with certain certain moon, uh, moon phase or something. Um, so there was some sort of chakra blockages for on this masculine. Um, I don't believe there is any more because I keep on seeing that blue for the throat chakra. Um, his voice could have been taken away by this Queen of Swords. She could have um kept him in a state of you know indecisiveness, not being able to make a decision, kind of timid. Um, Aquarius definitely could be in someone's chart. The universe is throwing signs at you guys right left and center um i mean even today i got a beautiful sign i was out walking the dog and flocks of birds were all flying over my head and it was amazing and then just as i was walking home <coughs> i looked up and there was lots of gray cloud and then as i looked up i saw a little golden crack in the clouds and it was a beautiful like, golden light coming through and then suddenly the the grey clouds just parted and this gold shine came through and then the blue sky appeared and I just thought that's that spirit let me know that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to work out well. So abundance is coming in for this couple. <coughs> just as I start talking about the throat chakra, my throat starts to close up. So somebody has now remember we got the the arts card for past life so somebody definitely has some sort of um hobby or interest here that is a spiritual gift now although there is art on this card it doesn't have to be art it's just whatever your talents and hobbies are that is what your spiritual gift is so as i say you can bring joy to people's lives in whatever shape or form that is so, you know, if you're a musician, if you're an artist, even if you make jewellery, whatever it is you like to do that brings you joy and brings other people joy, that is part of your divine journey. Um, I mean, not everyone is seers or psychics. I mean, we, I think everyone has those abilities in them if they really tap in. But, but we have God-given talents as well, which are meant to bring joy to us and to others. So... Web of Deceit and the Ghost card. So that is my I made the wrong choice and it haunts me card. So somebody, 
this masculine may have chosen this Queen of Swords um, to to stay with or to recommit to or to go back to but it was all a trap it was all my black widow trap um so pisces i definitely picked it up in the tarot so pisces cancer aquarius aries leo sagittarius i picked up as well this is a divinely guided love now when divinely guided and the the infinity sum come out this shows me this love is so important to the world as i say this couple together are a hierophant together libra so i definitely felt that as well so aquarius libra pisces cancer gemini aries leo sag yeah this this love now usually i get this when this love connection can be healed but this for me tells me this love connection is healing your love heals others your love actually heals other people. Yeah, Aries. Yep, definitely felt fire energy, peaceful resolution. But I do believe, again, this is not just about this couple. This is much bigger than that. This is about you bringing peace to the world or peace to your communities. Um. So, yeah, this was third party situation. There was a Queen of Swords. There was a Queen of Cups. We saw that. Um don't need to dwell too much on it but this masculine now has made a decision and he's traveling away he's traveling towards you eight of wands he's traveling towards you now feminine away from the the he made a judgment call to move towards you so yeah he's moving towards his high priestess who is his joy and happiness and i do feel like she heals him i feel that this this high priestess feminine in this masculine's life showed him how to heal she showed him to find the joy in life again and for that they're getting a brand new beginning this feminine taught this masculine how to be free how to love himself how to make the most out of his life that's what i truly feel and it's beautiful yep there's sagittarius any other zodiac signs where i i get um I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm excited to move on to my ancient sites. <laughs> cards now, I'm excited to see what comes through. Any other cards from this deck? Before I close out. No, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, that, that was informative. So somebody has beautiful gifts that are, they're also their, um, they have beautiful God-given talents that are also their spiritual gifts. That's what I'm hearing. So whatever that is, whether it's music, art, could be both, could be could be um literal music and art. I mean, honestly, there's nothing more special than doing art while you're listening to music. It's just so beautiful. Um where in fact, where will I go next? I'll get my glasses. Right, let's get I'm going to look up the ancient site that is associated with this couple. Now I'll try and get, I'll maybe see if I can do it separately. So one for the masculine, one for the feminine maybe. And see how that works out. But they might both have connections to the same um, sacred site. So let me see here. And then I will get, I think I'll get, um, I'll get a rose oracle after this. I'm very indecisive tonight and that is what I'm picking up the masculine was. The masculine was very indecisive for so long. I didn't know whether to walk away from a past person who was toxic towards their happiness, who loved them. And I'm feeling that energy. I'm feeling so indecisive. I can't make up my mind. What date will I use? Will I use this one? Will I use that one? So, yeah. Can I get um, any sacred sites that are relevant for this connection, please, for this? Give me a sacred site that could be relevant for the masculine first, please. Whoa. Now, I'll tell you exactly where these places are. <laughs> um, so, no, I did, right, so let, I'll tell you exactly what, where these places are in a moment. So the first one that came out was Karnak, Karnak there. So let me see. So if you bear with me, it'll take a while to, 
to look it up, but I'll find it as quickly as I can. And I'll just tell you the rough meaning of it, um, because there's a lot of reading in these cards, um, which is lovely. It's good, and I've been reading a lot of them today, because I love to learn, and I love to read. And thank you, by the way, to the person that said I've encouraged them to pick up a book again. That, that means so much. <laughs> I'm so delighted. That is so kind. Um, and thank you also to the lovely lady who left such a nice comment about the reading I gave her. I'm so grateful I helped. And it was so nice to make your acquaintance. Um, so let me see. I'm just trying to... Oh my goodness. It's taking forever. So, Karnak. Where are we? Karnak! Yay! See how much reading is in it? It's a lot of reading. And it goes over the page as well. So Karnak is in Egypt. Holy smoke, I should have known with the Eye of Ra in the front here. Wow. So this is for the masculine. This is the sacred site that he associates with. So it says the past for this masculine. In the past you may have been you may have been blinkered. But now the eye of Horus, the ancient Egyptian protective symbol, allows you to see more clearly. Did we not say the masculine scene clearly now? Wow, oh my goodness. This avenue at the great ancient Egyptian sites of Karnak is, is flanked by statues of Amun, the ram-headed lion, protecting an effigy. Oh my goodness, of Ramses. I actually, oh my goodness, I actually um, watched something about Ramses only yesterday. Wow. Because there was a site that Ramses built for Osiris. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just bewildered. I'm just shocked at my own, my own um, connections right now. Combined with the sun god Ra to become the almighty Amun-Ra, the lion's body represents power, strength, and a re relentless fighting spirit, which coupled with the, the tears, sorry, which, sorry, with, which coupled with the ram's fertility, fearlessness and drive, make this deity a great protector. So, oh wow, so that's in the past for the masculine. Now this is the present. Does this image of the temple of Mutt, so that, that's what it's called. It's called the temple of Mutt at Karnak. This is what site is associated with this masculine energy. Um, um, initially a local deity, the goddess Mutt rose to prominence as queen of the gods, the mother, the protector, when her consort Amun became the king of the gods within the temple. There were some 700 statues of Mutt in her warrior form known as Sekhmet. Oh, I know Sekhmet. I never knew it was Mutt though. Wow, depicted as a lion-headed woman, each statue had a different inscription, such as Sekhmet the Great, Sekhmet the Beloved of Ptah, and Sekhmet Beloved of Sobek. How many aspects do you have? So this masculine has powerful connections to Sekhmet and things as well. Probably the feminine too, it might come out for the feminine as well. So this is what the future holds for this masculine being connected to this ancient site. So it says, more move forward as a warrior. Sekhmet offers her protection as you make the changes you need, whether these are minor or major. Sekhmet is, is the destroyer of your enemies and offers healing to those that are in her favour. Call upon her to shield you from the negative energies of others. All too often you get caught up in other people's dramas and take take on their problems too. I feel that masculine didn't want to leave the Queen of Swords because he didn't want to leave her. I feel like she was codependent on him so he was like take it, didn't he felt guilty leaving her. That's what I get. So this could be something significant here. Um Sekhmet warns you not to to let angry or vengeful feelings towards someone take charge or to allow old grudges and patterns of behaviour to get in the way of change. Sekhmet will destroy all your enemies for you, whether they, they are other people or your own inner demons, and offers to be your guide and protector forever. So this masculine has powerful protection. Wow, that is amazing. So I'm going to get the other sites here because he's also a connection to the Vatican. 
<laughs> I cannot believe it. I did see the monk card and the priest card. Um, that you know the nun and the monks and the priests. Um, so let so let, we'll see what the Vatican holds here. Now I'm not going to read all of these again. Um, because I'll be here forever, especially I'm going to get something for the feminine too. So, but yeah, I'll read um the past for this masculine um and why he has connections to the Vatican. Uh, I did see the Vatican a moment ago. Um, and it's now gone. Wait, hold on, I'll get. So the other one is ex extern. Externing, 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 externstein, externstein. Look at that rainbow. Look at that rainbow. I'll find out where that is too. Now that's the other card that came out with the masculine. So I'll just quickly find out the um, past for the Vatican and then I'll move on to externstein or whatever one comes up first. Let me see. Oh, the smell of that rose water is so lovely. It actually makes me so calm. Um, so, come on. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> Feel free to go and get a cup of tea <laughs> while you're waiting. Oh, my goodness. Why do I, why have I got to pick the two that takes forever to find? Oh, the Vatican. So, obviously, the Vatican is in Italy. The Vatican City of Italy. So, beneath the Vatican... Um, hides ancient secrets. The fa sorry, the frig the friganium was home to the milici, the priestesses. Okay, of Rome's magna magna mater, the great mother. So this is all to the temple underneath the Vatican. This temple was located on Vatican Hill, along with a temple of Apollo. So this has got, the Masculine's got a connection to the Vatican Temple and to Apollo. Temple of Apollo and Shrine of the Mithras Mystery Cult on the site of what is now one of the holiest places of Christendom. Wow. So let's see what's happening in the present. Originally, the Antolin earth goddess Cybele was imported to Rome from abroad and held in the city. What is the significance of the Egyptian obelisk that has stood in St. Peter's Square since, 19, since 15? 86 when construction began. Oh, this is all to do with Nero, Apollo, um, the obelisk um, stone, the Egyptian obelisk stone that was moved there. St. Peter. So the potential for this masculine in the future, the creator, the creator of Adam, the famous fresco to Michelangelo in the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, appears nonchalant that God is reaching out to give him life. If God came to give you life, would you lie back and casually lift your finger to him? Besides God in this form of a woman, could this be the eve of at God's side? Um, not made from Adam's. A divine made from God's side, not made from Adam's. So meaning like from the rib of God, not from Adam's rib. Um, so it's saying time to step out. So this this is basically saying your soul, this is basically saying the masculine soul is going through some sort of rebirth energy. Um, God, you can address the divine yourself through prayer, meditation and rituals. Put what you have been taught to one side and wake up now. Call on the creator proclaiming, I am here and I am ready to change. This is all about going through a spiritual awakening. This is all about going through a spiritual awakening for the masculine. So I'm just going to the last one and I'll maybe just read what it means for him now. So Externstein is in Germany. Um, wow, so okay. This is all about 
searching for your happiness. So this is a place in Germany and it is like a special stone formation in Germany here. Um, it's all to do with liberation, location Lippe in Germany. This record, the, the stones represent the circle of life. So, well, to access these abilities that you have within you of mediumship and telepathy. Oh, so people go there to, people go to this place to basically um, ignite their gifts of telepathy and um, mediumship shape-shifting, remote viewing and lucid dreams. You can access these abilities by focusing on the rainbow, which is the bridge to Asgard. Wow. So this is what the masculine, the masculine is going through, the masculine is going through some sort of spiritual awakening and the, he is somehow connected to the Vatican, to Apollo, um, to, to Ra, to King Ramses, to Sekhmet. Wow, this is powerful, powerful energy. So, and that's just for the masculine. <laughs> Let's see. What time are we on? Oh, we're doing okay. Still get 10 minutes. So let's get for the feminine. I'm just curious to know. Can I get some sacred sites? Hopefully the same ones as the masculine. Same we're reading them all again. Oh my goodness. The Acropolis for the feminine. So I'm going to find out a bit about that. So the Acropolis is very significant for the feminine. Um, and I'll find out why. What other sacred site? Just give me one more sacred site for the feminine, please. And thank you. So the masculine can do a spiritual awakening and waking up to his gifts. Um, yay! The, oh my goodness. Too many. But I'll look. We'll look at fell on the table. So the feminine has definitely got the same powers as the masculine here. Telepathy and stuff. This is a sacred site for her too. Because that, that's what the book's called. Sacred sites. So this is a sacred site for the feminine. So the Acropolis, that same place as the masculine. Now they gave me too many here. Um, can I give me one more then? Give me one more because I've already read the Externstein or ex <laughs> Externstein. Yeah, Externstein in Germany. Right, one more for the feminine. The Plains of Bacon. I'm going to find out where they are. <laughs> Absolutely, and more rainbows there as well. So let me find out. So we've already read this one for the masculine, so just go back and rewatch for the masculine feminine if you need to. So let's get this one, the Plains of Bagan. I'll see whichever one comes up first. The Acropolis or the Plains of Bagan. Whichever one comes up first. There's no number in the cards, you see, so I'm just having to um, flick through the book. <laughs> it's exciting. I can't go over the masculine. That is amazing that he got Egypt so strongly um, in his past life reading and then also coming out in the site, ancient sites. So he's connected to the temple underneath the Vatican, not the, well, I suppose it's still connected to the Vatican, isn't it? So for the fe the feminine, we have the Acropolis here. So you can have a look at the imagery on there just to give you a better idea. Um, so it says, energy focus, this is inspiration. So I do feel that the feminine is extremely creative. They bo you both could be um, location, Athens and Greece. Do you take comfort from the spirit of the goddess? Psyche in the arms of this, in, in the arms of this homest male. Home, sorry, horn, sorry, I'm just trying to, so I'm just trying to read it, but it's, oh, the horned male. Oh, I thought it said home male, so it's horned male. <laughs> okay, so. Do you take comfort from the sight of the goddess Psyche in the arms of this horned male, or do you feel perturbed by this beauty appeared on the by his beastly appearance? On the ancient hill of Athens, Acropolis, the cave home of the 
Oh, the bearded goat legged god of nature, Pan. It's about Pan. Somebody mentioned Pan in the comments a couple of nights ago. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm, I'm like a child myself. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, he was the protector of the Ath Athenians as well as of the men of the hills. The original good shepherd, when worship was turned upside down, Pan became feared as a person or the personification of the devil himself. But here we see him respected and sought by the beautiful Psyche, goddess of the soul, for his wise counsellor. For his wise counsel, sorry. Perhaps in the past you should have seen through your prejudices and allowed yourself to be counselled to become the obstacle, to overcome the obstacles and the conflicts you faced. You must learn the energy must both be given and received. If you are all give and no take, then you will not gain all that the universe has ready to bestow upon you. So I feel this is a common theme with divine feminines. They are all give and no take. <laughs> they, they they need to try and get the balance right. Myself included, we tend to give, 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 give. And then at times we have to sort of start pulling some of that back and say, no, do you know what? I need some of that myself. So this is about a feminine here who... um. She has been giving her all to situations and not getting enough back. Um, so let's see what else it says. If you fail to revisit the advice that was offered to you before, you may well continue to struggle or to find the happiness and resolution you seek and your soul will carry on feeling a sense of loss and injustice. So this is basically to tell, tell the feminine, stop giving your power away. If you, if you, this is like stop dwelling on the past as well and also about taking advice of others about, you know, your situation. In the present, what feelings arise in you that, that you look at is this card's depiction of the Parnantheon, the temple, the Parthenon, sorry, um, the Parnathon, you know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> um, topping, so it's topping the Acropolis, embodies the beautiful proportion and the artistic spirit of the ancient Greeks. If the image of the Parthenon, Parthenon inspires you, then you're being called to bring new creative ideas to life. Classical Greek art, of which the Parthenon's one of the most revered examples is renowned for its sculpture, particularly in depictions of the human form. So I told you this feminine is... She is very creative. Now, the part I read about her in the past, all given, no take, that was her past life influence from the Acropolis. Now, in the present day, you're being asked to bring your art creations to life. Um, and let's get a quick look at the future position. So, daughter of Zeus, the Greek goddess Athens, or Pallas. Athens, as she is best known, stands strong in her virgin purity, a perfect balance of female and masculine energies. Wow, inner union. Brave, fierce and kind, she offers you her strength and inspiration to persevere with any life changes that you'll be called upon to make. She, The owl is her guide, leading her through the darkness and revealing her enemies. Athena's work is... <clears throat> Athena's weapon is strategy rather than bloodshed. She encourages you to use your natural intelligence, but also to seek knowledge and inspiration by from ancient literature and art. If you are facing a challenging situation, Athena asks you to trust your inner wisdom, call on her with the words of the invocation, and then take appropriate action. So there is words to call upon Athena, but I'm not going to go into a big long um, invocation for Athena. But this feminine definitely could be connected, sorry, definitely be connected to Athena. So so I was calling her Athens, Athena. Um, just even with my glasses on, the writing's still so tiny. Um, but yeah, this, this feminine has powerful creative skills here. She is very connected to the arts and very intellectual I feel that so the last one the plains of Begin so let's find out what that is all about and then I'm just going to do a quick goose over it and tell you roughly what it's about um right where are we 
Where are the, where are the planes of bacon? There's so many interesting places to read about in this book. I'm going to have so much fun reading up about them when I have, when I have more time to do so. I'm actually working on some creative projects myself right now. Um, when, you know, when spirit drops a creative idea in your heart, you have to go with it. Um, no time like the present. So, come on. The planes. Oh, being. Let's see what they're about and where are they. You've probably already googled them by now. <laughs> You're probably quicker than me. Oh, and that's my little diffuser thing went off. It's quite good. It just it actually just runs for an hour and then switches itself off. So that's nice. That's good. Right, the plains of Bagan. So it's an in, in Mandalay region in my Myanmar. Now I'm trying to figure out where my Mar is. <laughs> I will figure it out. So and that's all for that's about deliverance. So the feminine is is going through some sort of deliverance right now. Whatever whatever the generous, whatever the grievance or trauma or trauma that has shaped your life, whether done to you or off your doing, know that it can be resettled. The peacock is the Buddhist symbol of openness, acceptance and wisdom. The bird's ability to eat poisonous, eat poisonous plants without being affected, made it um, synonymous with the great Bodhisattva. Those who, motivated by great compassion, seek to attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. So you could be seeing a lot of peacocks, or that could be your spirit animal. For them, delusions are the path towards liberation, and they can they can transform the poisonous mind of the ignorant, the desires into hatred, or the desires and hatred into thoughts and enlightenment. So this is somebody feminine in the past. You might have been dealing with some quite sort of toxic people in past lives. I mean, um, and they're they're saying that you're kind of. You're now transmuting those negative energies. Learn from what has happened in the past and you shall be released from the bad feelings in your heart and from the hurt or disappointment caused to others, caused by others, caused by others. So yeah, it's very similar to the last card for the past life influence. You've dealt with a lot of heartbreak and people hurting you and being negative towards you, but they're saying you can rise above that in your present situation. It says this wonderful... This wonderful panoramic views of thousands of temples make Bagan one of the most breathtaking of all the Buddhist sites. So the Plains of Bagan is a Buddhist site. So, and I know there's a few people I've connected with um, privately that's not, on, they're on my channel, but I've, and who practice Buddhism. So this definitely could be connected to you. Um, so yeah, sites from the reign of King Anawahata until until the forces of the legendary Mongol, the Emperor, um the Emperor Kublai Khan. Yeah, so Kublai Khan basically um basically took over the temples. Yeah. He took over the temples and, um, yeah, they, there was floods and earthquakes, knocked down a lot of the temples as well. So this is all to do with kind of Buddhism. Um, yeah, that's, that's interesting. So in the present, so in the present, your, your focus should be in the present. Yeah, focusing on your life today. Or repointing your life into a new direction instead of focusing on. So it says, focus the attitude. This so it says responsibility. Take responsibility for your actions, and say sorry when you feel it is necessary. This attitude will free you to see the bigger picture of your life today, rather than just focusing on um responding to immediate problems. So it's basically saying um in the present day feminine, if you feel that you have done something 
um, negative or maybe this is someone, this could be your masculine towards you. They're saying focus on being open enough to apologise or accept apology and not to dwell too much in the past. The future position, um, it says here, travel to many paths for life will be rich and enjoyable as long as you are learning. So this is all about your learning. It's, I feel this is due with past life karmic lessons um, about learning from your mistakes, learning how to say sorry, um, learning to see um, when a situation has to be left in the past and things like that. So feminine, you have quite a heavy message there, but um, definitely something to do with Buddhism and Athena, the, the daughter of Zeus, um, who was a great artist and things. So it says traditions is a great reminder of the undertaking of the of our life, which must ultimately draw in from all things. All your experiences matter and have value. Yeah, it's basically saying everything you've gone through up to this point has been of significance. Um, it's you are now being delivered from it's like you're going through a deliverance feminine, whatever that means to you. You're going through some sort of deliverance energy here, which is you're kind of learning from the past. You're moving into a more sacred space for yourself. Um, hold on till I get some. Now, I could have been picking up more masculine energy there. That could have been because that definitely felt like it was kind of a lot of masculine energy coming through for that card in particular with the deliverance. But can I get some rose oracle on this? Um, twin flame connection well another card about temple temple of the rose ancient power expression activation scarlet codes this is all wow this is powerful energy this is like ancient old old very old as my nephew used to say when he was writing his stories for school um, he used to say it's old old very old um, this is very old wisdom but this is also like creative, um, creation, you know, creation through art and stuff as well. Oh, that's too many. A bit less, please. What time are we on? Oh my goodness. It's taking me ages to write. Oh, I uh, to say all that. You've probably skipped by now to the end. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I enjoyed reading about those things. I know it took me a while because the writing's so tiny, but I got there in the end. Um, so give me um, a, a few more and then I'll go on to my shaman cards I'll probably not read from the shaman deck because it'll take forever the holy grail stop the endless searching inner quest this is saying to both of you that so this is we all know, um, especially in the, the story about King Arthur and and the, the Knights of the Round Table, they were searching for the Holy Grail everywhere, weren't they? That this goblet that was blessed by Jesus on the Last Supper. But the Holy Grail is here. And I say this now, the Holy Grail, it's an inner quest for the Holy Grail because we all have the Holy Grail within us. We are all blessed by Jesus. We're all blessed with the Holy Spirit. We're all blessed with God. You know, we're, we're all blessed with the Holy Spirit within us. We all have the Holy Grail within ourselves. So this is saying to this twin flame couple that they're starting to actually figure this out. So the bloom. So it says, creations, right time, harvest and celebrate creation realize so definitely this couple I think are going to be bringing a lot to fruition here there's going to be a big time of celebration for this twin flame connection um anything else for this twin flame connection from this deck please and thank you and then I'll get a quick um shaman card and a love oracle so the wastelands so it says sustainability slow down tend to your garden so I feel the masculine is in this energy right now. He is taking time out to figure things out. He is definitely, I feel like he's been doing quite a lot of soul searching. <coughs> and I feel that feminine too has been in, um, 
because I was actually feeling she was in this kind of Buddha energy. So um, the, that, the Buddha card that we got there for the play of the Began, that definitely suggests this feminine is some in some sort of deep soul searching. Um, she may be practicing Buddhism or something. <coughs> Release the petals. So the, this is all about letting the old die away. And we saw, um, we saw the the death card come out a few times in the tarot. So this is definitely this connection is definitely going through some sort of rebirth because it says, it says um, transformation, death and rebirth. Yeah. Shedding the old skin and changes. So this is definitely um, a rebirth of a connection, a rebirth of two individuals who are both powerful earth angels, star seed energy. Okay. So come to me. Attracting, attracting like a rose. Receive abundance desire. Wow. Now I had so so I actually my art project today was a rose. I'm using I was using rose water in my um diffuser and this is a rose oracle and I saw roses today in my third eye as well as seeing all the stuff about Jamie and Claire. So there's some sort of romance here that stood the test test of time. I mean, even if it wasn't to do with Celtic origins or something like that, some two lovers who have said something like, I'll always find you or something like that. And this is them finally um, now getting to return to each other. Some, there's something definitely to do with the Jamie and Claire story, but I did see a lot of roses today. There is roses, roses everywhere. So definitely love is in the air. Love is in the air. So I'll get, um, I'll get a shaman card and then I'll get a love oracle card. Maybe get some messages from this person. The time we're on so one eleven fifty four. All right, gonna get some shaman cards for this. Give me some shaman cards. Now these cards are about dreams, shamanic journeys, um, which which ancestors what ancestors are helping you with right now, and um, if you're dealing with any spirits that are helping you. So like um, so the dancer of jo oh my goodness now the dancer cards are all about. So if you look at this kind of design here the dancer cards you know when you see like on the murals on temples and walls and caves there's somebody dancing you know they do symbols of people dancing this is all about a very tribal feel about the the given reasons people people used to dance for different reasons um which would be you know for to create weather changes elemental changes they used to dance for happiness they used to dance when they were trying to fend off evil spirits and things like that this is saying you're going to be dancing for joy. You are going to be dancing for joy. This is enlightenment, joy, happiness, emotional fulfillment. This is like they say joy is one of the the emotions that has been around since the beginning of time. And it's still such a huge emotion to feel even today. So this is something's going to happen. It's going to make you both dance for joy. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. I really am. So can I get, um, I was going to say, can I get two more? And they gave me exactly two. I love them. <laughs> the ancestor of boundaries. So I feel this masculine definitely had, so he's getting some ancestral help. And my nose is itchy. He's getting some ancestral help here to set up strong boundaries with this queen of swords energy. Now, I don't know if this Queen of Swords was his ex or the mother of his children or somebody else, you know, somebody in his family or a friend or something. But his ancestors are encouraging him and helping him to set up healthy boundaries. But also for the feminine, um, your ancestors are helping you with that as well. Now, I do feel there's been a lot of heart and pain here because you had a lot about that in your past life. Um, Ancient Saint cards as well about letting go of resentment and maybe... Maybe you said something, maybe your boundaries to this masculine were quite harsh as well at one point. And it's saying, you know, if you feel the need to say sorry, say sorry. Um, but the ancestors are, of hope are here as well. So they know that with, with proper boundaries and with the right kind of healing for you both, um, there is hope for this, this connection. You have the ancestors of hope. And the ancestral boundaries. So can you give me um one more um 
one more card please for this couple <laughs> spirit of truth so when this comes in this is saying that i mean the spirit cards in this deck is all about the holy spirit really and we, we couldn't shamans couldn't do the work they do without the help of the spirit world so these cards are all to do with um shamans so you know this so the shamans couldn't do what they do without the ancestors and without spirit guides so this is a spirit guide coming in here and now i told you i kept on getting blue for the, th the throat chakra so this is a, the spirit guide trying to encourage this masculine to come in here and speak his truth about his love for his feminine He's trying to be encouraged to come forward and speak his truth about how he feels about his feminine. They're trying to get them both, I feel, too, because I feel this feminine has not been completely innocent here. Um, She has definitely put up strong boundaries, but maybe been quite harsh about it. The spirit of initiation, both, both these twins have powerful psychic abilities. Now, this is the card of initiation. This is a... This is spirit um initiating these twins with um very powerful spiritual gifts wisdom telepathy so they'll be able to connect with each other very easily psychic ability they can actually see into the future powerful powerful gifts and the companion uh sorry the journeys card here is both these twins are dreaming about um journeys going on shamanic journeys or something along those lines but can be traveling around in their dream state so they could be um uh, you know they could be astral traveling in their dream state as well because the the dream cards have to do with sort of um taking journeys in your dreams going places in your dreams traveling in your dream state um one more come out here so yeah the spirit of destruction now the spirit of destruction again blue um but this is saying this is wow, well, this is saying that they're destroying all blockages on the path of this twin flame connection. That the spirit of destruction is comes in to basically smash down all the blockages. It, the, the spirit of destruction is like a wrecking ball. It knocks out all the, the blockages, all the things that are getting in the way, knocks down all the, the blockages that are causing fear, anxiety negativity they basically knock out all the destructive elements in a connection to leave it the path completely smooth and clear for love so there's powerful ancestors and spirit guides working with this couple um so let, i'll just get a love message and then we shall be done so let's get a love message can we get some love messages for this um can i get some love messages for this twin flame connection here Actions speak louder than words. This masculine is about to show you feminine. Now, I told you I felt this masculine was ready to... I said he was in the go get her mode. King of Wands, go get her. He's ready to come and get you. Go get her. Go, go get her. That's why I said go get her mode. This masculine is about to show you that he maybe never showed you in the past, but he's about to show you now. Yeah. Open your eyes, so... When this masculine comes in and actually shows you through his actions how much he loves you and adores you, I feel, Feminine, you have probably been quite harsh in your words here. You've maybe, um, I do feel they, they stay in a situation because they felt bad. They didn't want to leave that person who might have been codependent on them. Um, and you may have said some harsh words, but you've been told here, if this person shows you through actions how much they love you, believe it the first time, this is a very powerful past life connection, but this is a very, very powerful past life reunion coming in here. Past life reconciliation between two powerful lovers. Um, can I get one more for this connection? Oh, <laughs> leave your fears behind. Now that that shamanic card of the spirit of destruction is also about knocking away all the fears. And blockages so feminine i feel that you are scared you're maybe you're maybe don't want to let your guard down and apologize to this masculine for maybe you you maybe get angry at them for making the choice they did but i feel that they thought they were doing the right thing at the time um but yeah one more one more and then i'll 
so <laughs> another card of boundaries in the bottom as well so definitely boundaries were needed here from both your masculine and your feminine the divine timing card we saw that in other cards as well um there definitely was a third party situation this is, of course, your twin flame. Of course it is. And the card here says deepening. So it says a relationship will a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months. You have both been waiting for this. So I'm telling you this masculine is going to come in and his actions are going to speak much louder than his words ever could to you, feminine. I, I, as I said, I, I keep seeing roses today. Powerful love is in the air, without a doubt. It's powerful love. Um, and that's Jamie and Claire's love made them find each other everywhere, didn't they? So that's probably why I was getting the Outlander energy. Um, I will always find you. No matter where you are, I always find you. No matter what timeline, no matter what life, whether it's this life or a thousand years from now, I will always find you. That is the love I'm kind of picking up on here. Powerful, powerful love. So let's get... Let's get a message from your person. Let's see what your person would want you to know right now. What time are we on now? now? Oh my God. My reading is just going to get any shorter today. <laughs> so let's get a quick message from your person. Let's see, one more shuffle and then I'll see what wants to come out. I've actually made another couple of new Oracle decks which will make life a lot easier for me. Um, so once they have arrived from the printers, I will certainly show, look forward to showing them to you. Um, so let me see that one. Okay, anything else? Just a couple, because I don't want to keep this running for too much longer. I was like, I cannot believe I go so long every time. But it's been interesting for me. It might be boring for you, but <laughs> you may already be asleep, in which case I do apologise. <laughs> I'm going to spend more time reading that Ancient Sites book. So your masculine could have been indulging in toxic behaviour to stop thinking about you. My chest aches when I think of losing you forever. I seek solace in toxic things. I remember who I am now. He sure does. He may even be remembering all the ancient sites. And if he doesn't, hopefully he's watching this and now he remembers. You complete me. I feel completely lost without you. I feel that this masculine, he misses you so badly. No one has ever loved me the way you do. It overwhelms me. So this masculine just, he chose a partner or went back to a partner who didn't challenge him emotionally. Um, my heart longs for you. Missing you is a constant ache that never goes away. So again, more to do with the heart chakra and pain in the heart. I mean, I, I do feel this masculine's finally had a heart opening, heart chakra opening. Um, I dream of you and us every night. Yeah, this masculine, you are on this masculine's mind 24-7. My divorce is almost final. So... If your person is trying to divorce a Queen of Swords energy, um, that they were struggling to make up their mind if they're going to divorce them or not, their divorce is almost final. I love you so much, I thought you'd bewitch me. So the masculine was, is so obsessed with you that they thought you'd done some jiggery pokery on them. <laughs> but no, you're just twin flames. <laughs> so, trapped by my pregnant ache. So this person may have purposely... Now, it doesn't mean say they are pregnant, because a lot of times they just say they're pregnant. My guilt is weighing me down. They will never come between us again. Breaking out of karmic cycles. One more, please. One more. Give me one more. One more. Make it a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. I like that. That's a good one. We'll take that. Oh, I can't separate them. Well, oh, no. Okay, so they're saying take the two. Okay, I know the truth. I don't love them. I love you. So that says it all. If your masculine chose a karmic ex or went back to a karmic ex or stayed in a karmic marriage, the divorce is almost final. And this person may have told your person they were pregnant or something in order for them to choose them. And you may have said some really harsh words, feminine, that basically along the lines of, don't ever come back to me or I will, you know, 
don't ever don't ever come back to me or I will run you over or something like that. Um <clears throat> our love our love can never die no matter who comes against us. Betty and Jamie and Claire. Their love can that could never die and it withstood every single challenge and obstacle. So there we have it guys. I hope that's been enjoyable and happy Sunday to you all and I look forward to bringing you another message tomorrow night. I'm always excited these days to see what's going to come through. It's always so much fun. So take care and sending lots of love and light to you all. Namaste.